What's up, Fisher fam? Welcome back for the weekly recaps. I hope everyone is doing well. I was a little under the weather this past week. Um, had a fever that was in the low hundreds um, for about four to five days. But feeling better. Um, still a little bit of a groggly voice. Um, and fortunately, you will not be able to hear my coughs as I will cut them out. But let's get into the recap. So first, um, we should have somebody uh, check this, but I think this is our first 200-point Top Gun of the year so far. So massive congratulations to the guru for his 205 fantasy football points uh, that his team put together. He had double digits from every single one of his players. Uh, Kicker, 11 points. Defense, 14 points. Tight end, 12 points. And his lowest, like, kind of wide receiver running back was 10 points. Everybody else got mid-20s, high 30s, low 40s. I mean, just literally every single one of his players went off. Um, so yeah, that's an absolute dream. He, uh, the guru 205 beat sons of Ditka, uh, 133. So, uh, sorry, John, you, you are unlucky yet again. You are one in seven and, uh, you, you, you put up enough points to get the win this week. That's for sure. Um, overall, the, the fantasy output uh, for week eight uh, was a lot better than in week past. Uh, there were just more touchdowns, more scoring, uh, just a lot better offenses um, around the league this week. So uh, with that, I'll go through the rest of the week eight box scores and matchups uh, real quick. So starting off with my matchup, Brad's house losing uh, 94 to 131. This one actually ended up being a lot closer. Um, and Brad, if you're listening, you need to update your, your team. Um, you had a couple players that didn't put up any. Yeah, you had two players uh, just not even play this week. Um, so it, it could have made the difference what you needed, like, 35 i mean i don't know probably not but still um might want to check and update your squad um so that was a a, a fortunate win for me happy to to take uh, the week off from brad and um yeah i think uh i think you got to take the wins when you can especially uh, what, i lost three in a row or something like that and my team is uh just kind of getting banged up uh, with injuries. Losing Brees Hall was a heartbreaker last week, so um, I will not be able to replace him on the waiver wire, that is for sure. Okay, next matchup is Steph's husband versus Indy Ballers. Uh, this is a bit of a uh, Indy matchup here. Uh, that was that was very very close. Uh, I'm trying to look. Yeah, it looks like it was. Well, we had a couple close ones. So, anyways, Steph's husband took the win, uh, 136 to 124 this week. Um, so yeah, that's a. Uh, that's a great win for Steph's husband now at four and four. Uh, you know, wins are, are uh, huge at this point. And a really big performance from Tony Pollard with, what, three touchdowns? He might have even had more. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's, what you, uh, that's what you hope for. A tough loss to Indy Ballers now at three, four, and one. Um, still a super good team, really, really good team. Um, and, and putting up 124 uh, has been enough this uh, this year uh, to, to get the win, so that's just unfortunate luck there. Next matchup was almost the Top Gun, miraculously, again. Uh, Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage beat Gangsta CC, putting the beat down on his sweet daughter. Um, 
Chelsea, uh, so good, good win again, Uncle Lee. Uh, you put up 186 to Gangsta CC's 132. Um, so this one wasn't close, um, but again, kind of like the Guru's uh, point totals, um, you know, just everybody produced. Everyone was in the game. Everyone put up good numbers. Um, so uh, not much else you can ask for there. Um, and things, honestly family they should continue uh for the rage and guru really both of those teams are just uh out of this world right now they've they've had a few injuries break their way and a few you know kind of just roster upgrades break their way um so we're gonna have to take both of those two teams down uh if we want anything out of the season this year um all right next matchup is another close one this was Gateway City Super Hornets losing to the Bears. This was a little brother grudge match. I'd love to see it. Um, Dave and Eric losing to Steve. Um, so uh, Gateway City Super Hornets put up 99 uh, to the Bears 112. So this one was a little bit lower uh, point total compared to some of the other uh, matchups this week. Um, but, uh, you, you know, you got the win, uh, the Bears, and you're sitting at 4-4 four and four right now. Um, one win ahead of Gateway City Super Hornets at 3-5. and five. So uh, you'll take it uh, like everyone else um, uh, kind of getting the win this week. Last matchup was another close one. Uh, Evil the Dr. J losing to Illinois Outlaw 106-112. Um, so yeah, unfortunate loss, uh, for you, Dr. J, not a lot of, uh, help from your wide receivers. Um, Devonta Adams putting up one point. The Raiders are just shambolic. Um, so hopefully they're able to turn that around. You should expect more from Adams going forward for sure. Um, and nice to see Alvin Kamara do so well for you. That was awesome. An Illinois outlaw way to squeeze out the win uh, playing Tua. That's a big pickup um, and uh, a big play. He put in 42 points, so so that's huge there. And Brandon Ayuk, uh, the last two weeks, been pretty unbelievable. So actually, shoot, last three weeks um, has, has been really, really good. So uh, nice, nice play there. Um, so that wraps up the week eight scores um and let's do a little bit of updated power rankings shall we um so we'll start with the bottom as we always do uh starting with sons of ditka uh firmly in last place uh with one and seven record um you know uh unfortunate breaks this year uh for you john you just uh haven't had um lady luck on your side so Next, number 11 is Brad's House, coming in at 3 and 5. Um, again, uh, like I said, Brad, um, you have to check your roster, make sure you got some people playing uh, for each uh, slot there. And then coming in at number 10, Gateway City Super Hornets, also at 3 and 5. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, I think. Super Hornets have had a couple top guns uh, this year, but they're sitting at number 10 in the power rankings, so uh, they are kind of a, a hit or miss type of team this year. Next, number 9 is the Bears, Kokomish. Um, yeah, coming in at 4-4, four and four, uh, solid squad. Um, same with number 8, Gangsta CC, coming in at 4-4. Four and four. Um, good team, uh, just needs things uh, to uh, kind of break their way. Number seven, Indy Ballers coming in at three, four, and one, I believe. Yeah, Indy Ballers, this is a little bit of a fall for you. Um, yeah, hopefully things kind of uh, turn around for all of us here in the middle of the uh, power rankings. Number six, Evo the Dr. J at four and four. Um, Number five, Steph's husband at four and four. And then Illinois Outlaw at four, three, and one. So that's five teams at four and four in the middle of the power rankings there. 
And then we have the top three. Number three is uh, Nadia Nashville, yours truly, coming in at five and three. Uh, you know, the last couple weeks have not been so kind. I've uh, been knocked off my pedestal a little bit. Um, so it's uh, it's it's sad days over here at the at the Jenison household. Um, but uh, you know, long season. Uh, I just got to get to the playoffs and then. Uh, you know, still waiting on Keenan Allen to finally do something for me after, uh, what, we're at like halfway through the year now. Number two is the Guru coming in at five and three also, and their team has uh, really turned things around the last couple weeks and um, is is looking quite scary, uh, especially with that 200-point Top Gun. So uh, good job, Guru. Way to, way to fight through the uh, early season blues. And then... Drum roll, please. Ba ba ba. Number one is Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage coming in at seven and one. Quite the record, quite the team, quite the quarterbacks. Um, what else can we say about Uncle Lee's Rage to Rage? Um, he's just getting it done, just putting putting teams away. Um, really solid squad. Draft picks just you know panned out uh off the charts uh this year so good team lee uh hopefully we can knock you off uh the number one by the end of the year um but at seven and one you are sitting very comfortable um and and i think you've practically already um punched your ticket to the playoffs um usually the the threshold is around seven wins uh so so good good job there um, all right, next week's matchups, we have Naughty Nashville versus Steph's husband. Uh, both teams are kind of sitting in the middle of the pack there, so that should be interesting. Uh, next is Gangsta CC versus Brad's House. Uh, Brad's House definitely needs a win, uh, as does Gangsta CC to stay, uh, you know, kind of in contention there. So uh, that'll be a good matchup. Uh, the Bears is taking on Rage to Rage, so Steve, hopefully you can knock down Lee uh, and let us catch up a little bit. But uh, the projection for that game right now is 89 to 129 uh, in favor of the bad guys, so um, not looking good there. Next matchup is Sons of Ditka one and seven versus Gateway City Super Hornets three and five. So this is kind of a battle of the bottom here. Um, that will be pretty interesting to see. Both teams uh, obviously, obviously need a win. Next matchup is Illinois Outlaw Chi Chi taking on the Guru Andrew. Um, so really big matchup here. Uh, Chi Chi taking on uh, the number two in the power rankings. Um, Chi Chi definitely uh, has a good squad, uh, so uh, anything is possible there. And the last matchup is Indie Ballers uh, versus Evil the Dr. J, a two middle of the road teams uh, that uh, will definitely take a win. Um, so that'll be a good battle as well. Okay, I hope everyone. Um, enjoyed the recap i know it's not with the full fam um and it's a little uh a little groggy sounding um but we're, we're doing well we're ho we hope you are doing well also and uh hope everyone uh has a good week and good luck in fantasy